Hello, we're back. Uh, in this video, you'll see some work for KDEX, all about Beth and her journey in triathlon. So the agency was Santara Studios, who are Beth's agents. Um, yeah, really cool to work for them again. They did all of the middle grounds to sort of check the video, submit them to KDEX. So yeah, I hope you enjoy the video. This is Beth and cycling back in summer, so that's why it looks a little bit warmer than the weather we've now got in Leeds. I hope you enjoy the video. Let us know what you think. So swimming got me into athletics. I used to swim from whenever I can remember, four or five years old. My parents just couldn't get me out of the swimming pool. So yeah, I started off swimming and then my PE teacher at secondary school entered me in the Scottish schools cross country. I finished second and then it kind of just took off from there because I was actually getting results in running. I was good at athletics and I was good at running and I was breaking records, so that's what appealed to me. I went to the Olympics on the track. I'd been to Commonwealth and Europeans as well, and it's just so difficult to win a global medal. And that was the end game, to be honest. I think after Rio, I just realised that it was, I felt like it was impossible to try and get a medal on the global stage. I wanted a new change in triathlon, and I thought that was more achievable. Kind of had in my head, I was going to do it, and once I get something in my head, that's it. I yeah, quit my job, left London, left everything <laughs> to move to Leeds where I knew nothing, hadn't ever ridden a bike before, didn't know anyone, didn't really know the sport. So it was like a big change and it was really scary. I moved here on the 9th of January 2017, five and a bit years. I spent about a year thinking I'd made the wrong decision. Getting to grip with a whole new sport and all the skills and race experience that come with that. You know, it's not something you can really rush, which I've found out. It's taken time. It's taken five years. It was hard initially and it was really quite scary. I think I cried most days in the first year I lived in Leeds. Yeah, it's been hard. I don't think people really understand how hard it actually has been. I've done a lot of it with the help of a few people who have been by my side from day one. You know, it was, it was really challenging. I lost a lot of sponsors. I didn't have the help of my national federation until recently. Constantly felt like I was too old, was told I was too old. So it's been really challenging and I feel the last couple of res results, you know, getting in the top five at World Series, you know, fifth in Leeds and third recently in Montreal. I'm almost there. I am there. The swim and the bike, probably the, the bike more so because I didn't have a background in that. It got my head down and I've worked really hard on it and you know I feel like this especially this year I've in a much better place it does help when you have the best equipment to help you get there as well. I feel like I'm in the mix now I'm getting into those front packs and I'm you know I'm present in those front packs I'm able to work I, I did everything I could to improve my bike. I don't feel stressed about standing on the start line not having enough because I know I did everything I could. When I when I won the European Champs in 2019, and that was a kind of big step up in performance level for me. I was competitive in that race. I was good across all three swim bike run. I remember the the when we got in a breakaway, and I was like, oh my god, this is where I'm trying to be in the race for ages, and I'm here. Like, don't mess it up. So this is my third Commonwealth Games. I competed in my hometown in Glasgow in 2014 as a 21-year-old. That was a big breakthrough for me, my first senior team. I enjoyed all 25 laps in Glasgow, all of them. <laughs> so good. It, that, that for me trumps the Olympics, anything. It was like the best night ever. And then Gold Coast was a bit of a funny one, competing in two sports. So both triathlon and 10k. So coming into Birmingham, which I'm very lucky is another sort of home games. The home support, I've got many more triathlons under my belt and I really want to go there and I want to be competitive this year. I believe that I could have a place on the podium if things go well. Look at that as being a realistic goal. 
At the end of the day, just think of it as another race. Don't put pressure on it as being a championship, just racing the same people you do week in, week out. To be completely honest, I've tried not to think about it at the moment. I'm just focusing on one race at a time. Hit the same process goals that I have been doing this, this summer already and just try and get a little bit better.